I think that we all wish that we could have better skincare at better prices. But I think that on YouTube and on vlogs about skincare, they really push a lot of the skincare that are the big brands. And some that always come to mind to me are the Sunday Riley and the Drunk Elephant. But when we think about affordable skincare, the ordinary has kind of taken over the skincare world as far as that goes. However, it can be hard to know what is really good in their line that might help dupe what is out there on high end. Okay, so I'm going to kind of lay the bag of snakes out and we're gonna talk as much about the different things that I've used from The Ordinary for a long, long time that I feel like are as good as those brands, if not better because they don't have the extra ingredients. You're just getting simple ingredients and you always know what you're getting with The Ordinary, whereas some of those companies you might be questioning, not Paula's Choice, never heard anything about that but you might be questioning what all these extra ingredients are. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna talk about five skincare items that I use all the time that I believe are as good as luxury skincare, some high-end skincare, but mostly luxury skincare. We're gonna start off the video with the lowest priced one, which is the glycolic toner from Pixie Beauty. I love this toner, do not get me wrong. I think that it does such a good job at taking off that dead skin cells. It brightens, it makes your face just feel so good. So, it, this is the small one, this is $15. There is a large one that is the eight fluid ounces and that one is $29. Wonderful toner. Everybody uses this and we all know what a good toner it is. And However, the dupe for it from The Ordinary is the glycolic, 7 glycolic acid 7% toning solution. This is eight fluid ounces, so this is the same as the big one. And so you're getting this one, again, under $10. I believe it's around $8 and change. And you're getting the same benefits from it. It doesn't have any extra things in it, though. It has the perfect balance of solution of the glycolic in there to be able to slough that skin off. And again, keep your skin very bright and very um, exfoliated and just looking its very best. So that is my very first one. The second one that I noticed right away was Paula's Choice has a 10% niacinamide solution. Niacinamide is so good for reducing the any discoloration you might have, refining your pores so that they look better, any fine lines, any texture you might have. So niacinamide in her product was such a good product and I believe her product was around $44. And then in came The Ordinary with the same amount. This is the 10% niacinamide solution and this has zinc in it as well. Now the benefits are exactly the same. You get the same exact pore refining, skin texture, unevenness, all of those things that niacinamide can do for our aging skin. It does that from The Ordinary because it is in that exact amount or the exact percentage. But this one, again, is under $10 and comes in actually under $6. So for me, kind of, again, a no-brainer as far as, well, here's the benefit of this and this is the price point break that you get. The next one I wanna talk about is a Drunk Elephant product and this is their 100% Marula Oil. Marula oil is a luxury oil, and when I say that, it is an oil that feels fantastic on your skin. It sinks into your skin. A drop or two underneath your eyes at night right before you go to bed can do wonders for how your eyes look and your wrinkles, your fine lines, all that good stuff. However, again, here we're looking at a price point. One ounce of the marula oil from Drunk Elephant is $72, and that to me is just like over the moon crazy expensive. But the ordinary, again, we have the 100% marula oil, and this is the exact same product that comes out from Drunk Elephant. 
under $10 at $9.90. So you're gonna get the same benefits, the beautiful benefits of, of helping your wrinkles and the luxury of having marula oil in your skincare regimen without that high price tag. So The Ordinary, once again, does it cheaper and better. Now, about two years ago, it might have even been a little bit longer, Drunk Elephant also came out with their Sukari Baby Facial. But that baby facial consisted of a 25% AHA plus a 2% BHA facial mask. So you put it on your skin, you let it set for a certain amount of time, and then you washed it off. And oh my goodness, you guys, if you've ever tried it, I tried it several times, several so different little samples that I would get, I would try. It does have a little bit of a granular ingredient in there. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it just made your face feel super smooth and super, super duper soft afterwards. It's a beautiful product to use for exfoliating. But again, in walks ordinary for the win. This is their AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. This has a little bit stronger of the peeling solution. I find that I actually had to work up to this when I started using it. It is a very deep dark red product. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. I'll try to take, there you go. You guys are going to be able to see that. Very deep dark red product. The Drunk Elephant product was just kind of a white creamy product. So this one, I feel like when I put it on, I can almost immediately feel it start acting, especially if you've never used it before. And if you've had a sensitive skin, you're going to immediately feel this. So you might have to work up to it. The first time you might only be able to wear it for a minute or two, and then you're going to have to work up to it. This one is an ounce and it is $7.20 for one ounce. The Sukari Baby Facial for 1.69 ounces is $80. So you are getting about um, two thirds of an ounce more, but even if you were to put two of these together at $14, you would be getting a way better deal than the $80 price tag of the Drunk Elephant. So this product is one that I absolutely love for exfoliating. I have put this in so many videos in the past and I've used it over and over again. I just feel like once again, the Ordinary does it and knocks it out of the park for so much less. One of the products that went absolutely viral and everybody was talking about it and they were going nuts for it was the um, Sunday Riley Good Jeans product. That is an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. And the reason that they were going nuts for it is because you could put it on at night as part of your skincare regimen, you didn't have to mess with it at all, taking it off or anything, and you got up in the morning and your skin was just lovely, soft. And I was really into that for a while because using it, you do, you wake up in the morning, you feel like your skin just feels so much better. It's so soft to the touch. It's just a lovely product. However, we are talking about $105 for one ounces of the Sunday Riley product. That to me is an insane amount. Out. But then I realized that The Ordinary had its own lactic acid serum. This is The Ordinary's lactic acid 10% solution. They do have a 5% solution. Now, when you look at the website for the Sunday Riley one, they tell you that if you have very sensitive skin to use this and then take it off, you, they're good genes, take it off after a certain amount of time so that your skin doesn't get super sensitive or doesn't you know get a lot of peeling uh, all at once or anything like that. So if you didn't have sensitive skin, you could go ahead and leave it on all night. Now I feel like that's what The Ordinary is doing in offering you a 5% solution, which they do have the lactic acid in, and then this 10% one. So this 10% one again is under $7, $6.80. And I just feel like this right here is every bit as good as the other so one. So this does have like just one or two extra ingredients, whereas the Sunday Riley had quite a list of ingredients. Personally, what I look for is I look for it to be something that is just a little bit more on the side of less ingredients as effective but not having so much that it's going to overload my skin with skincare ingredients if that makes sense to you guys so this again was cheaper and better and it won me over so, so i hope that this video was really helpful to you you don't have to spend a ton of money in order to get 
really, really good skincare. And that's what I wanted this video to be all about is that this is all under $10 and it's every bit as good as luxury skincare. And you're going to see the results just as good as you would if you went and you laid down hundreds of dollars at a time for skincare. So please give this video a thumbs up if you do appreciate me showing you skincare alternatives things that aren't as expensive, things that are dupes, are cheaper and better than the luxury items. I love bringing these kinds of videos to you guys. So thank you all so much for spending some time with me today. If you have a favorite ordinary product that you use every day and you wouldn't be without, let me know that in the comment section. Hope everybody is happy and healthy and I hope you're enjoying your 2020 year so far, our new decade that we're all in craziness in my mind. Okay, you guys take care of yourselves. I love you all so very much and I'll catch you all in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.